Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing this black sparkly smoky eye with a little bit of cranberry on the crease. Um, this is really good for New Year's, especially if you're wanting to look super glam. I will be doing a different New Year's look. So if you wanna learn how to get this look, thank you. I'm gonna start off with my eyes first, but I'm gonna cover up my skin a little bit with this BB primer um, from Tarte. And I'm just gonna do this so that you're not looking at all of my redness and big huge blemishes that I've been getting lately. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. So it helps to smooth out your skin, the texture of your skin. So that's why I like using this one. I'll sometimes even use it by itself. And I was a little bit more tan when I got this, so it looks a little bit darker. That's okay, cause you know, we're wearing a turtleneck in our ears. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm gonna do something really dramatic. This is gonna be perfect for like, New Year's or any holiday, crazy holiday parties or clubs you're going to. It's gonna be super dramatic, very sparkly, and I'm really excited to get to do it for you guys. But what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm actually gonna be using a primer, which I never do. Um, I'm gonna use this Kat Von D primer right here. Prime my lids with this. It's also kind of like a corrector, so it hides the, the redness on and discoloration on your eyelids. So you can take it down a little bit lower as well. Hi, hello, good morning. This is where the voiceover kicks in. I am now gonna do my eyes. So I'm taking this Kat Von D palette. It's the shade light palette and it's like the reddish brown shade in the palette. This is gonna be our transition color. We're gonna put it in the crease and on the lower lash line too. We're just gonna wash it in. You can make it as intense as you'd like. So I went back into that and I kind of deepened the crease a little bit more. But again, this is just our first transition shade so it doesn't have to be intense. This is a beautiful shade. I love this color. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their, um, this is actually a blush and it's in M846. I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow today. I'm gonna focus it right on the crease using a flat shader brush and I'm also gonna go on the lower lash line very close to the, um, to the lash line and I'm just gonna uh, work it there and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna avoid the lid with this shade right here. I'm gonna totally avoid the lid. Don't get it anywhere near the lid part because we're gonna be putting a different color there. So um, after I have the intensity that I want, I'm gonna blend the edges out with a bronzer. So I'm taking a fluffy brush just to blend out the edges of this shadow so that it has like a nice glow and transition from the brow bone to the crease. So now I wanna deepen the intensity of the crease. So I'm gonna go back in with the flat shader brush and that red shade and I'm gonna focus it right on the crease and right very close to the lower lash line. And then on the uh, clean side of the brush, I flick it upwards towards the brow bone. And then now I'm taking a very pointed blending brush just to focus on blending the edges of that. Um, I took the eyeshadow up a little too high more than what I actually like. So I took a concealer and a little concealer brush just to um, uh, work it into the brow bone and it's gonna really make that brow bone pop. For the lid, I'm gonna take this shade from ColourPop called Frisky and it's very buttery and creamy like all the ColourPop shadows. It's beautiful and I'm applying it with my finger at first but then I realized this could get really messy so I used a pointed concealer brush to blend it on my lid. And then to blend the edges and really make them soft, I used my finger and I feel like that was the best method to do that. At this point, I'm like, okay, I look like a vampire. I went ahead and took that red shade and I deepened the outer crease because I think that looks gorgeous on top of the black and then I blended out the edges with a blending brush. Now I'm making a cat liner so I'm using my Makeup Forever ink liner to do that. Now for the fun part, the glitter. I'm taking After Hours from Violet Boss and applying it to the lid. This is the Violet Boss glitter glue. So I'm applying that first and then I'm going over and dabbing on the glitter right on top of it. I looked on their website. After Hours is unavailable now. It was a limited edition, but they do have Midnight Firework, which is just the same as that. But instead of the purple glitter flex in it, it has red. Either way, it's gonna look beautiful. Any black glitter you could use really. For the waterline, I'm using the Urban Decay Zero pencil and then I'm taking a concealer brush. The concealer brush we used earlier to apply the lid shade, I'm smudging it out with that. 
I'm applying a little bit of mascara and now it's time for the lashes. I'm gonna put on these lashes right here. These are from Violet Voss. They're called Vamtris. Let me show you real close so you can see the style. Really, really nice and spiky. I'm gonna pop them on to the center and attach one side at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and then use tweezers to mesh the real and false lash together. For the foundation, I'm using the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, and this is in light medium. Honestly, I didn't think it would have that much coverage just because it had water in the name, but it's really nice coverage, and it looks very, it doesn't look cakey or drying. It looks really, really nice on the skin alone by itself, just like right here. I could stop here, but I need to um, brighten my under eyes, so I'm using my ultimate favorite concealer in the entire world, which is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay, and I'm using that also on the highlighted points of my face as a base for my highlight. And then to work it into my skin, I'm using my warm ring finger, and I feel like this is the best thing, even better than the Beauty Blender when it comes to your concealer. For my contour, I'm using this Tarte contouring stick. This is a very light shade right here, so they have darker ones, but I decided to use a lighter shade for some reason right here. It actually, it works really well either way. It's like a really nice base. If you're using a lighter one, it just kind of marks the areas where you want to have definition. And then I'm just blending in the contour with my finger. And here I'm using the Dome Shape Synthetic Brush from Tarte to blend it into my neck. To lock down the foundation and concealer so it doesn't move, I'm using the Kat Von D powder. And this makes your skin look super flawless, by the way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the contour palette from Tarte, the Tarteiste, and I'm going to take the darkest shades and go right over the contour areas that I marked out. And I'm just intensifying those areas, making them more defined, and really contouring that jawline. And then with the yellow banana powder, I'm gonna highlight the under eyes and also go where the highlighted areas are, like the bridge of the nose and the middle of the forehead, also the chin. I'm gonna take this gorgeous sparkly palette right here it's called bling it on it's the amazonian clay blush palette taking that center shade prim and i'm gonna pop it on to my cheekbones and now for the lips i'm gonna take the violet boss matte liquid lipstick in slade it's a neutral nude i love this shade but it's a little too nude for the look i was going for so i grabbed this mally lip gloss in sweet peach just to add a little bit of color to the center and this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you missed my last video, it's gonna be below for you to check out. And I am currently doing Vlogmas. That's vlogging every day until Christmas. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with my videos. That's it, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye dollies.